Hey, what's going on, everybody? You know how we always start off Monday, man. First things first, thank everybody, man, that's been subscribing to me over the weekend and just been subscribing to me all week long, man. I'm about to reach 2,000 subscribers. You know, I'm like 123 away. So if you haven't already, you know, subscribe to the channel. Help me reach 2,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it, man. Let me raise the window up get the sun out so you know that's the first things first we know we always always thank you guys i appreciate you guys for tuning in dropping your likes on the video watching all the video you know this channel is growing and it's doing well because of you guys and i appreciate that so you know i always come in the first things first how we start the week is we thanking you guys because without you guys there's no jj's cars and advice so let's get into this video Y'all see where we at? We at that tag agency, you know. About to get this title switched over for you guys. And I'm gonna show you. And it's always good to get your title switched over, man. It just saves you a lot of time, a lot of headaches, and I'll show you why I'm getting why I'm the reason why I'm getting this title switched over. But usually I just get all my I most of the time from now from from it was it happened like a couple months ago or something like that. So the reason why I really just get all my titles switched over now. I mean, it's easier and it, sa and it saves you a lot of the hassle. And I'll show you guys how much it costs, but I'll show you guys why I'm getting this one switched over. So, so why am I here at the tag agency? So, so here, it's the 2004 Impala that I bought at auction. So I gotta go over here and get the title switched over into my name. But this is why, this is a person's personal information. So we're gonna cover that up, but this is a dealership information. So that's nothing. So this is why I get the title switched over. So I've got it from Or Nissan. So and then what happened was that somebody there had made a mistake on their title, so they scratched it off and then and then they put it right there. And as you see, there's no more no more assignments left on the title. And what I mean by let me grab, grab my money. And, what, and, the, and these are see and these are these are considered assignments. So assignments by title by registered owner. So See, if you're a dealer, you put your dealer's, if you're a dealer, you put your dealer's license number right there. So this is why, like dealers, we can reassign it to other dealers. We can't reassign, like, you know, you, you can't be a customer, like this customer couldn't have sold it to another customer and that customer couldn't have sold it to another customer. But see, us dealers, like this dealer could have sold, this dealer can sell it to, this dealer right here sells it to me and then, then I'll be right there. And then me, I could sell this one to the next one and then it'll be the next dealer and there's no issues with so, that as you guys can see like a dealer can go it can go from dealer dealer to dealer to customer or it can go so it can't go from customer so a title can't go from customer customer to customer because it's considered title jumping it's not title jumping when you're a dealer so you can go dealer dealer customer or a customer dealer dealer customer if, if you want to it's not you're not going to have any problems with that but like i said it's easier just to go get the title switched over and the best thing to do is just getting find a great tag agency you know find a good local tag agency you know the tag agency that i use they're, they're very good because they have a line where it's dealers only so like i can just walk i'm i'm literally walking here to the tag agency and then I'm gonna go to the side where it's dealers only, and I'm probably the only dealer here because I don't see any other people with dealer tags here. So I'm the only dealer here, so I'll be the first in line. I'll come in and I can get out. And that's a lot of things too. Like and when you go to your tag agency, ask them like, hey, or if you're not even even if you're not a dealer, just if you're buying a lot of cars and something, a lot of cars throughout the, throughout the year, just get in good with your local tag agency. And when they see you a lot, you're gonna be the you're gonna be able to get that benefit of being able to skip the line. If you're a dealer, just get in good with the one person that works at the tag agency so you can just go in there you can handle everything and and once you get that good re report with that person it makes it a lot easier because you can just go in there handle the money bam and just, it handle you know and then you can come pick the stuff up later if you got things to do or you know you can stay and wait until it's done but man I, I, pre I love the tag agency man they treat me well I can go in here they know exactly what I need to do and they already know all your information so it's not it's no like keep going to different tag agencies. They already know your information. So bam, 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 couple, punching a couple numbers and boom. But I'm gonna show you too when I get to the lot. Like so, so y'all guys see how this title looks, and I'm gonna show you how like one a title looks like once it comes back into my dealership name and what's the difference. So let's get let's get to it. Let me go in here. So we're back from the tag agency, as you guys can see, boom, got the title switched over to my name, Dollar and Dream Model Sales, and as you see, the title fee is eleven dollars. So, 
show you on like a previous title. It's not the title that I dropped off, but as you guys can see, like you see, boom, you got how this title looks. So, like, so we're gonna show you this one. See, dealer, then it's my name, then it'll be the customer right there. So I'm gonna show you, show you two examples. So this is, so I'll show you the two examples. So. So that's me. That's the dealer. That's the uh, that's the, the trade. The, the customer traded into the dealer. And dealer sold it to me, and then also sell it to the customer. So that's how one that's how one title looks. So I'm just showing you guys two examples. And then this is one that I took to the tag agency, paid the eleven dollars, and it came back at the title of me, and so it'll be my name. And then I'll sign it over to the customer. And y'all see. So y'all see how the like the title looks different. I mean, I mean the title is the same thing. Everything like once it's taken care of, like as long as the customer takes it to the tag agency and get a register in the name, it's it gets it's gonna all get handled. But a lot of times, like when customers see the title the first way, you know, when it comes from like the customer, you know, because the customer will get the title and they'll look it over, they'll be like. So who is, and they'll ask like who is this person and oh so you got it from this person instead and so you don't want to so you don't want to cut you can cut you're going to cut all that out so you know the person don't see like who you previously got it from or what dealership because you know maybe they see the name of the previous dealership that you got the car from and they got screwed over for that dealership and now you know they're thinking about it like no oh, man you know if you got it from their car you know that dealership you know the car is no good you know now we're gonna go sit there and talk about it and maybe maybe they talk themselves out the deal not gonna say they not gonna say it happened but you know it's a possibility that it could happen so it's best to just go get your fresh crispy title you know get that title registered in your name so you don't have no issues and, and, and stuff and two a lot of times with when the title is like from a customer to a dealer to a dealer a lot of times when you sell the car to a customer they run into a lot of problems because a lot of times the people at these tag agencies they they're not used to working with dealers they're just used to working with customers so you get so you get into the house of uh times like where people be like oh you know you gotta take that they they, they tell them i can be getting this all the time they'll tell my customer they got you gotta take that back to the dealership they gotta get the dealership they got to get it registered in your name and then so then you got the customer calls you back and they got to refer the customer so I always refer if in any if it, for previous customers that had was having those issues I always refer them to the same tag agency I use like they're down the street from my lot they get it they get it all taken care of and they're used to dealing with dealers you know some tag some people not used to dealing with that and also to what that helps you with Is also like I made a video on this the recall so that's that's one reason why it's too important because a lot of times a lot of times you know you get these cards from the dealer or the person or previous customer they it might have been a recall on it and like you like I said like I made a video about recalls and, and you get an envelope like this and people just be like oh that's trash throw that in trash and a lot of times those recalls they'll get they'll fix your car i mean fix the problem what's going a lot of times what's going on with the car might be just due to a recall so that's things too so getting that title switched over into your name and getting those recall forms sent to you and that you can take your vehicles to the to the dealer and get those recalls fixed for free will save you that will save you money too because like i said a lot of times some a lot of times things going on with the car is is dealer is dealer defects that you know that you know the person previously owned it didn't get the recall done they traded it into the dealership they didn't they didn't care about the recall and the dealership never got a re registered in their name so the recall letter is to the person that traded it in and the dealership never reached dealer uh registered in their name so now you register in your name you get these recall things and you you get that handled and also too it just look it just looks a lot cleaner makes your business more efficient too so like I said, find your local tag agency, man. Get good with them. You know, like even before I was selling car, like even before I became a dealer, I used the tag agency like down the street from my house, and they were they were they they were good to me. I could always skip the line there too. I still use that tag agency sometimes when I'm around that area. But like I said, it's eleven dollars. It's, it's only cost you eleven bucks. It's not gonna kill you. You know, it's eleven dollars to switch each title over into your dealership name. It's eleven bucks. I don't know why all dealers don't do it. I mean, I understand, you know, you can just move it over. And then like, like I said, a lot of times they don't do it because the title was previously salvaged and, you know, 
And if, if they get the title like this, so if the title looks like this, clean and green, but you know, the person, the owner wrecked it and, and is registered salvage, and then they trade into the dealership, and then you know, you don't know. You don't know you don't know the title of salvage until you get the title back. So so that's one thing too, you knock it out also for the recalls and just you know, just get all your titles situated in your name and stuff like that and you'll be all good. You know, so that's all I wanted to give you talk to you guys to stay about. Like I said, it's eleven bucks. Eleven bucks to get your title switched over in your name. So take always get your title switched over. Saves you it's gonna save you a lot of hassle and headaches in the long run, so Get, get good with your local tag agency. Peace out. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. I'm out. Peace.